I'm Alex Myers, and welcome to another edition of The Grind, golf's top variety column that appears on GolfDigest.com on Mondays, on Tuesdays. All right, guys, here's what I'm buying and selling this week. I'm buying Bubba Watson's wild week, win a golf tournament, hang with Justin Bieber, sit courtside at an NBA game, and film a cameo for a TV show. Speaking of which, Bubba, why didn't you tell me you were such a Big Boy Meets World fan? I can introduce you to my college buddy, Lee, AKA Minkus. Oh, you already met Topanga? My offer seems a little less exciting than that. I'm selling passing kidney stones. Bubba also did this last week, and despite the blood, he says the process was painless. Man, he got lucky. Did you ever see that episode of Seinfeld when Kramer gets one? Oof. I'm buying this whole feud between Rory McIlroy and Brandel Chambly. That Tiger versus Brandel is so 2015 after the analyst recently questioned if McElroy is spending too much time in the gym. Rory responded with a crack about doing squats with Brandel on his back and with a couple of intense workout videos. And I'm selling Tranquility. That's the name of Greg Norman's Florida property that's for sale. It's lovely, Greg. But if I'm gonna plunk down $55 million, I'm gonna need more than one practice green in the backyard. And I'm gonna want my waterfront guest house to have more than just two bedrooms. Sorry, personal preference. Now on to more pressing matters. This week in Paige Sporanic, being Paige Sporanic. Check out this brave, stupid, stupid guy who let Paige hit a tee shot out of his mouth. I'm a huge Paige fan, but you couldn't pay me Rory McIlroy Nike money to do that. And finally, we end with some random, but important questions to ponder. Number one. Will the new Tiger Woods biography that's in the works finally tackle his most serious problem? You know, his genes? Man, I hope so. Number two, what's scarier? The bear trap that PGA Tour pros face this week at the Honda Classic? Or the bear from The Revenant? Sorry, Jack, I'm gonna side with Leo on this one. And number three, did my coworker, Joel Beal, actually make these delicious chocolate chip cookies from scratch? Who cares? For more of the grind in all things golf, please check out golfdigest.com. All right, where are those cookies?